Hi, my name is Gauri. I'm a legal intern with Lexus and Company. Today I'll be discussing the landmark judgment of Dred Scott versus Sanford. And it was pivotal and highly controversial in United States history. That dealt with the issue of slavery and the rights of African Americans. The case revolved around Dred Scott, an enslaved man who sued for his freedom. Dred Scott was a slave owned by John Emerson, an army surgeon. Emerson had taken Scott to various locations, including free states and territories where slavery was prohibited by the Missouri Compromise of 1820. Scott argued that his residence in these free territories should have made him a free man. The case eventually reached the Supreme Court, where Chief Justice Roger B. Taney delivered the majority opinion. The court's decision had several key components. First was, a, was Scott's lack of standing. The court first ruled that Scott was an African American and was not considered a U.S. citizen and therefore did not have the legal standing to sue in federal court. The court held that slaves were property and that the Constitution protected property rights. As a result, Scott's residence in free territories did not make him free because his owner's property rights remained intact. Missouri Compromise was held unconstitutional. The court declared that the Missouri Compromise, which prohibited slavery in certain territories, was unconstitutional. The ruling stated that Congress did not have the power to restrict the expansion of slavery into federal territories, essentially nullifying the compromise. The decision had profound and negative implications. It denied the rights of African Americans, reinforced the institution of slavery, and undermined the possibility of compromise on the issue of slavery. The ruling intensified tensions between the North and South, fueling the growing divide that eventually led to the American Civil War. That is it for today's video. Um, if you have any queries, you can pose them in the comment section. Thank you.